Hey, what's happening everybody? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Tonight I'm going to take a look at one from out of one of our local breweries here from Rheingeist Brewery. And this is going to be their Panther. So this is their American Porter that comes in at 5.8% ABV, 28 IBU. There's a look at the can, the front and the back. And on the back it makes note, this malty yet sneakily smooth robust porter simmers with tones of milk chocolate, carob, and light molasses. Panther is a svelte creature of the night, a midnight malt whisperer. So not anything else really on the can listed there. Let's go ahead and get it cracked and get it into the glass. So with Rheingeist, they actually can and they bottle. Uh, they do a lot of six packs that are cans but then they would do like the 22 ounces on a lot of their specialty bottles um, that they release that are usually a good amount of one-offs. Um, anything that can be part of their main stuff, they usually six pack it in the cans, I believe. So beer looks pretty good. Um, got that nice darkness on it. It's pretty much jet black there in color. The head, a nice tan head. You can see some of the tight bubble action in there as well. Some small, some medium, some big uh, bubbles being shown. As far as the aroma, I get the nice milk chocolate coming off of the aroma. Um, I let this one sit out for about, I'd say about 15 minutes, so it should be warming up nicely now. I get somewhat of a cocoa type feel there also. And really the sweetness from the malts. It really does have a nice aroma that pretty much climbs right out of the glass. The head itself is hanging in there. Starting to break down a little bit, but it's already shown how it's going to kind of lace the glass as it goes down. But a pretty decent tan head. As far as the taste on this one. Oh. That's pretty good. Um... Up front, I'm actually getting very light of a bitterness. Um, on the back end, it goes down very easy, very smooth on the finish. It's got a nice creamy texture to it. Carbonation sits pretty nice on this one. It does have that slight thinness there that I get as well. But I do like how the flavors open up in the mouth. A few sips in, I'm already getting it up into like the cheek area. Duration right now is kind of a short to average. And that thinness, you do pick that up a little bit more as you drink down the glass. But everything that you kind of expect to get from a porter, the chocolate type notes, the coffee type notes, um, that nice taste of the malts, they all come through very nicely on this one. And they do a pretty good job with this one. I've had this one numerous times in the past. Usually Rheingeist is a much bigger, I would say IPA type brewery. And this is actually one being a porter that doesn't go that way. And they've done a pretty good job with it. Here in Cincinnati, it's actually one that is favored by a lot of the people that really enjoy uh, this one, especially as we're into the colder months now and people look for those porters or stouts or kind of darker type beers. This one actually um, picks up a little bit more popularity, although it is available year round. But the big thing I like with that texture on this one even though it's a little bit thin it's really that nice creaminess so you get it in there you can you can just let it slide down the throat and this is another one that can be kind of towards a dessert type option or to have with a dessert like many of the other porters and stouts and a 5.8 it's not as heavy though so the body on it is actually pretty decent as kind of a 
uh, medium body. And the only other thing I would say in the back end of that texture is you do have a slight bit of that wateriness because it is a little bit thin. But all in all, as an American Porter, it stacks up uh, pretty much fine for that category. Hits on all the key marks there. Pretty decent beer to actually check out. So um, I like enjoying this from time to time. If you've had it before and you're local, or maybe you're not local now, they do have distribution in other states. Let me know if you've had it. The Rheingeist Panther Robust Porter. Love to hear any feedback you may have on it. But if you're a Porter fan and you see it out there, give it a shot. I think uh, it definitely holds pretty well. So with that all being said, I appreciate you swinging by to check out another video. I look forward to catching up with you in the next one. Keep drinking good craft beers. Cheers.